guys welcome back it's a rainy day out today so i'm in the garage here with the scout today i'm going to show you how to semi-service your uh, front locking hubs this is a dana 27 axle so i don't know what that interprets to whether it's a special type of hub but i'm guessing based on the style and shape of it that it's a, a warn hub w-a-r-n that's a brand popular with the uh, older off-road vehicles but um it does still work but the only reason i'm servicing it is just because um when i had the the other wheel off yesterday, I noticed that uh, there was like some white grease behind the hub. And so I was like, all right, let me just pull the thing off. And someone filled these with like white lithium grease or like aluminum uh, grease, which is just like a really white, like a sour cream substance, which is not what you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use uh, like a synthetic uh, wheel bearing grease like I have here. <clears throat> so all I'm going to do is just pull them off, take out the bearings, clean them up and repack them, install them clean up the face of the hub, paint the insides black, and polish the rest up brass. I already did it on the other side, it looks good. So I'll set you guys up, pull the tire off, pull the brake drum off, hose down uh, the pads and the shoes and everything, because these work just fine. The bleeders are slightly stuck on the wheel cylinder, so crack those loose. So we'll just kind of give this a whole once over in service to make sure it's safe for me to drive on the road when I get to that point. All right, so I got the wheel off here. It was kind of tough because most of the lug nuts were stuck on there. I don't know, last time they were taken off. But, you know. So you can see the brakes are adjusted pretty good. About where you want them. Um, the ones, the pads on the other side as well as the inside of the drums are kind of scored. So it'll make some noise at first, but it'll level out. And there is plenty of life left on those pads. But I will be uh, upgrading the disc brakes in the near future. So by the time it, it gets to be uh, disc brake time... Uh, by the time I saved enough money, I'm sure I'll have to do these fronts. So that'll get done when, when, uh, when I have the, the money. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to pull this brake drum off because the last one was stuck. Maybe this one isn't and it doesn't look like it. Alright, so these don't look half bad. Uh, actually, I'm missing a bolt right there. I didn't take that out. It's gone. I might have another one. It's just a grade 8 bolt. Um, I'm, I'm sure I have the thread. Uh, <clears throat> so, these springs are not bad. Wheel cylinders, I haven't tried to break loose the, the bleeder yet. Um, I'll do that after I'm, I'm all said and done with, with pulling the hub apart. But, uh, yeah, it's a little stiff. Um, like, but this is really nice, but like, it doesn't free float like you want it to. And that's probably because that grease, it's not what really what you want to use at all. But, um, before I go touching anything else, I'm just going to kind of hose this down or, you know, I'll pull the hub off first and then we'll hose it down with some brake clean. I got a, I got a bucket over there. So, uh, I'll set you guys up again and we'll start pulling this thing apart. So at least it's not filled with that white paste. It's uh, actual grease, and it is dirty, so I am going to still repack. I didn't pull this apart for nothing. I knew no matter what, I wanted to repack the bearings. So, uh, But what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this all this old grease here. Uh, I'm going to brake clean it away, you know, because brake clean will just basically dissolve it. Make sure it's dry before I put the new grease in, because I know brake clean can actually like wick away new grease uh, that you just put in. Uh, I've never seen it happen. Um, I've, I've never had it happen to me, but I've heard it happen to other people. So it's just something to, I guess I should avoid. And then the other wheel bearing is kind of stuck in there. So you got to pack it while it's in the housing, which is kind of annoying, but the whole housing has to get filled with grease as well as this spindle up here has to get, uh, greased as well. And this spindle is actually in really good shape. And so is the axle. Yep. They both got that play for a reason. This is for the locking hub. Cause the way the locking hub works is you got, uh, the hub here and as you rotate this in either direction whether you're making it free or you're locking it uh, I don't know how well you could see it but if you want to lock it 
you're going to be pushing the physical axle into the housing like it is right now. So I can't turn this, but now I can turn it when I pull it out. So that was pulled out, pushed in. I can still turn it, but I'm turning the wheel on the other side as if the other one was locked too. You have to have them both locked in order to make the whole <clears throat> assembly spin. So yeah. I'm also going to um, pop this spring off and flip this adjuster around because it's backwards. Um, <clears throat> and so that's why this is worn more than the back is, even though the back is supposed to be more worn. So that means it'll give me a little bit longer life out of it, which is kind of funny that it works that way. So gonna end up, I'll get some, um, some gloves on, or after I pop this off and flip this around and put some anti-seize on that, got some gloves on. We'll repack those bearings, hose this down, brake clean, clean everything else up, polish the hub up, paint it black, sand it down, throw everything back on, clean up the wheel, put the wheel back on, and we'll be done. I'm calling that brakes rebuilt there. Used about the full can of brake cleaner, you know. Hosing her down. I got four more of these, I'm all set. Um, yeah, so I'm not even sure I really wanna to touch half this stuff just cause it's gonna have this kind of sconge on it now. So I might drag it with a paper towel here, but you know, so just like, Ah, you know, not even gonna mess with it. Yep, it's going in there. Um, so now I'm just gonna get a rag to clean up this spindle surface, or I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna wipe it while it's wet still. Um, the pads look good. Springs still look good. Got this spring on, it took me forever to get it on. I'm gonna adjust the brakes by hit, you know, getting a little, uh, the spur here, adjusting that out. Um, just blast the drum here quick. All right, that's the drum. So now, um, I'm gonna wipe down the spindle and you'll just watch me repack the rest of it and clean up the bearings. And So that only took forever to repack, but now I'm gonna take these the hubs, clean them up, or the hub, and put up, clean it up, pack it with some grease, slap it back on there, and we'll be done. Well, besides from the the setting of the the shoes back and forth and the resistance on the brake drum, but it already seemed pretty good. But I kind of messed it up a little bit, so yeah, we'll have to re redo it. So I'm gonna clean this up quick uh, off camera, just because it's just wind wire wheel on the uh, on the bench grinder. Give it a quick coat of paint, sand it, let it dry for a couple seconds, um, come back, adjust these brakes, and then we'll throw that back on once it's once it's dry. And we're back. So I uh, got the brakes adjusted. They got the right amount of amount of drag on them. They're pretty good. Uh, the hub has been nice and free. Um, obviously, you know, that's the just the drum there. Um, but yeah, it does spin nice once it's pressed up against there. Got the hub, and I'm just putting the bolts back in, and those will just get snug down there. They got lock washers on them, so I'm not going to put Loctite back on them, simply because I don't have any. And then we'll throw the wheel back on, and then we're done. Yeah, so that was, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, just because it's basically the same thing as what you saw before, only I was taking the wheel off. So these just get locked down, and everything like that. So this was a, just a look into a Dana 27 hub, uh, an axle here and uh, how to adjust the brakes uh, as you know and stuff like that so hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions 
feel free to comment or email me. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.